Hey what's up guys, this is Zuru here and today I'm bringing some brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Origins gameplay. Today I'm going to be showing you in my opinion the best strategy you can use to get to higher ends in this map. And this method is really effective for both solo and co-op games. So I'm over by generator number 3, it's very close to the spawn and it's also right next to speed cola. You've also got the random weapon box and the random perk machine right next to you. So before you want to get to your higher rounds, you need to get uh, 4 perks and also 2 upgraded guns. I've got the upgraded ray gun and the upgraded ak 74 u Now I definitely recommend getting the ak 74 u because there's actually a, a wall gun right next to you so you can get unlimited ammo and it's also a very good gun for getting a lot of points. You can see here that I've got 75,000 points and uh, I'm getting at least 10,000 points every single round without a problem. So um, I'd also recommend getting the claymores. Uh, if you don't use the claymores in the round you're playing, just pop them in the corner and you can pick them up later on. Uh, they're very good uh, when the robot zombie comes and also if there's electrical zombies there, they can be very useful. So I got to round 28 and unfortunately I died uh, when I was going to get a max ammo. And uh, when I checked the leaderboards I was actually top 100. So I'm going to give it another shot later on and hopefully I'll get to an even higher round. Uh, the one thing I want to watch out though guys, over the bridge is actually uh, a location where the giant zombies uh, walk about on. And if they step on you, you'll actually go down. Uh, so the way to prevent this is there's actually red flashing beacons and it makes a sound. So if you ever see those uh, red lights flashing, don't go over the bridge uh, or there's a chance you'll die. So just be very careful. This strategy here is a very uh, easy one to do. If you're not very good at zombies, you can still get high runs without a problem. Uh, it took me about an hour to get to around uh, 28. It was, it's a really fast method to do. And uh, as long as you get your ray gun, whenever the bosses come, whenever the robot zombies come, you'll have absolutely no problem. Just put on your claymore to take out the zombies and go over the bridge and start shooting at their head and you'll take them out very very easily. I hope you guys uh, have got the general idea of what I'm doing. You're just kind of running between the generator and uh, as soon as you've got the entire horde uh, in front of you, I take out your AK-74U and start, uh, start shooting at their head and uh, you'll get tons of points and you'll take them out very very easily. If you're ever in a tight situation and um, you think you're going to die, just pull out your ray gun and just hold down uh, right trigger, keep killing them. Uh, the perks I'm using here guys, the two essential ones I think you definitely need are uh, Sleight of Hand and Stamina Up, they're very important, Stamina Up is an amazing uh, perk for training and also if you're playing solo for the third perk, definitely get Quick Revive uh, so if you ever get down you can just get revived again. The fourth perk, I'm using uh, Speed Cola, it's down to personal preference another one that I'd recommend would definitely be PhD Flopper so uh, if you get the ray gun and you shoot at the ground it will take no damage off you that's actually the way I died in round 28, I fired the ray gun at the ground. So I think next time I play I'll definitely take a PhD flopper instead of sleight of hand. You can see here that there's the electrical zombies, they try and destroy the generator. And uh, as soon as they come I just start firing your ray gun at them. You can see there when I kill them it drops a uh, max ammo. So uh, that's the that's kind of cycle that happens guys, that's the entire round for you. And you can see I didn't even have to buy any ammo off the gun, uh, sorry any ammo off the wall. Um, just because the amount of max ammo you get here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, definitely try it out yourself, uh, it's very easy to do. And uh, please leave a comment and a like below and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.